Sorry guys, I'm just... The hood's up today because I'm just like a little ashamed. I don't want to make too much eye contact with you because my team is about to rattle off three losses in a row and I won't sugarcoat it. I'll tell you, I think the Detroit Lions are going to win on Thursday. Um, thank you, schedule makers, for having a Thursday Thanksgiving game scheduled for the Eagles. That's going to do wonders for Thanksgiving dinner because <laughs> this is the game that airs right before dinner. Um, I feel like Assassin's Creed here. Anyway, um, let's be real. Like I said in my week review, week preview video that I made earlier today, this is an Eagles team that is not trying hard for the coach. And I put all blame on what is going down on the coach slash GM Chip Kelly. This team is not motivated to go that extra mile. And like I said in my preview video, if I feel my team has all the pieces uh, aside from a good starting quarterback and aside from what I feel is the next essential piece is that wide receiver that stretches the field, which oh, if, if only we had a receiver like that that we didn't just cut for absolutely fucking nothing. <clears throat> D-Jack. <clears throat> Um, if you have all these pieces in place, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter if you have a good front seven, good running back core, decent receivers, decent secondary, very good secondary if you look at guys like Jenkins, um, with like another solid corner on this team, but I digress. It doesn't matter if you have all those good pieces in so many places if the guys aren't going to go an extra step. Because any team, any team that has good pieces in place has to rely on them going that extra step. Because extra steps are the difference between several wins and losses at any given point of the year. Any given point of the year. And you got guys like DeMarco Murray sliding at the first down marker, like you saw in that Miami game, which, frankly, if he was a quarterback, that wouldn't have been a first down. Since he was running back, the slide continuation counts. Um, seeing guys like that, that have never shied away from running into the incoming tackler, uh, I go, what's the point? What's the point in convincing myself that this team can beat anyone, can make any sort of noise until this coach is gone. Chip Kelly has to go. Chip Kelly needs to go. This team is going to go nowhere with him, Shermer, or Billy Davis. They've all got to go. Uh, we're also in a conundrum of that Jeff Lurie can't fire him because you can't make someone a GM and then within a year's time go, I don't want the guy, he's fired. Because that is like a vote of no confidence on yourself. No self-respecting owner in the NFL is going to give a vote of no confidence against themselves. Um, as for the Lions, I don't know who's going to cover Megatron because you, you, you saw what Tampa did with big wide receivers. Uh, against this Eagles secondary, had no problem. Um, Ver Vernon, Byron Maxwell, not to be confused with the NBA player Vernon Maxwell. Uh, Byron Maxwell is complete shit, which is ironic that his initials are BM for bowel movement. Um, Byron Maxwell is complete fucking shit. Can't, uh, can't cover to save his fucking life. Can't close in on a play to save his fucking life. Uh, it's clear that he was a, 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 a cog in a much bigger machine in Seattle where guys like Earl Thomas and Sherman bailed his ass out and helped him look like a better player. Uh, but you got paid, son, so, you know, throw your money in the air and be like, fuck you guys, I already got a ring anyway. <clears throat> um, Marcus Smith. This motherfucker can't even get on the field spare two or three snaps a game. And with guys like Kiko Alonso playing bad, 
with Jordan Hicks injured. It's like, you know, could our first round uh, could our first round pick from just two seasons ago at linebacker come into play? And it just goes to show you, it's like, you know, not even the team thinks this guy is worth playing. So, cut him! Cut him! Oh, that's right. Players don't get cut on this team unless they don't mesh with Chip. Unless they're like a thug like Deshaun Jackson. Unless they're a locker room loudmouth like Shady McCoy. Um, unless there's someone who threatens to not show up to training camp like Evan Mathis. Uh, <laughs> uh, unless, unless you do stuff like that, you got a place on this team. What's that? You can't play for fucking shit? Ah, oh, it's okay. We got a spot for you here. No accountability. No accountability. And I know I'm not going into the, the Detroit game and the matchup and anything like that much, but it's like, you know, who cares? Who cares? Detroit's going to win their third game in a row. Let's be real. Is there a logical reason they think, well, what, 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 is, what is Mark Sanchez going to remember how to play the game a quarterback? Oh, what's that? Sam Bradford may still play? I don't give a fuck. Jason Kelsey, you want to do us a favor and not commit three holding penalties or hike the ball to a fan in the stands? This team is misfiring and sloppy on so many fucking levels. Can't catch the ball, which I said weeks ago was suspect that this team all of a sudden got the dropsies because it's kind of like the players are like saying like, you know, let's just fuck this season. We'll just, we'll just miss passes. We'll hike balls through the uprights like Jason Kelsey's doing. Uh, we'll just, we'll miss tackles. Like, like, pff, like Kiko Alonso, this motherfucker's avoiding making tackles. Did you see that game against Tampa? Motherfuckers getting out of the way of making tackles. I don't know if you knew this, but Kiko, when you're a linebacker, one of your key roles is to make fucking tackles, you douchebag. Who did we get rid of to get to get Kiko Alonso? Oh, Shady McCoy. GM of the year. Folks, this ain't going to be a pretty end to the season. This ain't going to be a pretty end to the season at all. Um, uh, no live show, of course, because I'm not gonna even going to be here for the game. I'll be watching it elsewhere, doing the family thing. By the way, everyone, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your Thanksgiving as well on a serious note. Um, I'm thankful that you guys still come and tune in and watch these videos. So there you go. Um, I just... I wish I could just go into a game and be like, you know, let's see, like, you know, let's see, let's see the guys play well. Let's see the guys play well. You know, the season's pretty much done. They're not going to do any damage in the playoffs. They're not going to stand a chance to, you know, sneak up and punch someone in the mouth in the playoffs. Let's just see them play better. Let's just see them have a fun game where they're, they're, they're you know, they're having fun, running around, high-fiving. But I'm like, I see that these guys aren't trying to play full throttle. So why would they try to play to have fun? I see a lot of turnovers in this game. I see a lot of Megatron yardage. I see a lot of Stafford yardage. Uh, it's just, it's not going to be pretty. I think, I, I honestly, and I'm not, I'm not just hating because I'm down on my team, but I think this is going to be a, a game that's similar to what you saw out of the, the Tampa Bay Bucks against the Eagles last week. Maybe not a four-touchdown deficit, because I don't think that <laughs> Detroit has that much in them, but I wouldn't be surprised if you saw something like a 28-10 final score, something like that. You know, like two touchdowns and a field goal difference type game. Um, yeah, I, I know that score game wasn't two touchdowns and a field goal difference type game, but anyway, so... I just, 
at, at this point, it's like, I, I just, I don't even care if they look good. Cause it's like, it's, 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 it's to the point of too little too late. It's not like, oh, oh, wait, 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 they can get their shit together. They can get their shit together, guys. Everyone, no, 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 they, they, they did, they did good. They did good. They beat Detroit. Lost to Washington week four in a game you shouldn't have lost. Lost to Miami two weeks ago in a game you shouldn't have lost. Lost to Tampa at home in a game you shouldn't have lost. To a rookie quarterback who threw up five touchdowns. Completed 19 passes. Jameis Winston completed 19 passes. Five of them were touchdowns. More than 25% of his passes were touchdowns. You're going to let a rookie quarterback do that in your home? You expect me to get hyped for this team? Again, I can't keep saying this enough. It's not that I'm giving up on my team. It's I'm giving into what is better for the future of this team. The better of the future for this team is a team that doesn't have Chip Kelly, that doesn't have Pat Shermer, that doesn't have Billy Davis, and that has a staff that is motivated, that isn't ignorant, that isn't stubborn, and that knows how to play the game of football and not play college football well in the great Northwest. <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm going to watch this shit regardless because I still like to see some guys play well and see that there's hope for the future, which I think there is a lot of hope for this future because I don't think the problem is so much the players. Um, there's guys like Jason Kelsey where I'm like, I'm like, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. He might actually not be the real deal at center like that. I just, I, I can't buy that as just like, you know, him not playing for a motivated coach or motivating himself to play for a shit coach. Um, there's guys like that where I'm like, okay, wait a second. Maybe we need to address this center situation right now. But I think a lot of other guys would play just well for a better coach, a better coach, a GM that has respect for the game of football and isn't a stubborn cunt uh, and a defense and offensive coordinator that aren't just throwaway guys from other teams that are going to be yes men to a coach that wants their coordinators to kowtow to everything they do. Uh, they, they probably wash Chip Kelly's feet. Pat Shermer probably takes the left foot and Billy Davis probably takes the, the right foot. And they, they probably wash his feet before he puts his socks on in the morning. Anyways, um... On the positive side, every single time that I picked the Eagles to lose this year, they ended up winning. So if they do end up winning, you're welcome, Eagles fans, if you look at a win as some sort of victory this year. But <sighs> shameful. Just shameful that this team is where it's at right now. It's like, it's like Cowboys fans feel better about their team, and <laughs> the Eagles have more wins than the Cowboys right now. Shameful. Shameful. Anyways, everyone, enjoy your Thanksgivings. May your teams not ruin your Thanksgivings for you if your teams are playing. And as always, fuck the Dallas Cowboys. Have a good day, everyone. Peace.